Today I want to show you a few simple opcodes and kind of ways of working with your CSound code with Cabbage that will make life a little bit easier in terms of debugging it, in terms of accessing values from different channels, etc, etc. So I'm going to create a new effect, save, replace. Okay, being able to access the values from your widgets and to be able to view them in the C sound output is, is really important. So I'm going to create a slider, R slider, bounce. So that's X, Y, width, I'll make it big, width and height 100. Channel I'm going to set to be slider 1. Okay, and the range is going to be between 0 and 1 by default, so I'm going to save that. So, no, the range should be between 0 and 1 by default, but it's not. Now it's between 0 and 1. Okay, so there's going to be times when you want to access the value, you want to test the value of different things, and there's a few different ways you can print stuff to screen and see sound. You can use print K2, which is quite useful. Uh, there's also print KS, which again, kind of can be useful. There's print K. Uh, so each of these kind of work in a different way. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to access the value from my slider by doing this. So remember, chan get retrieves the value from the slider on a channel called slider1. Okay, In which case, I've just made a mistake because I should call this slider1. So print k2 is the first one we're going to look at for sub code for printing. And print k2 is going to uh, it's going to print something whenever the, this value changes. So wherever its input argument changes, it's going to print something to the C sound output. It's going to print the new value, in fact. So as I click here, we can see if I double click this, every time this changes, it prints something out. That's kind of handy. OK. Another print KS is pretty useful as well. This takes a string. So we can write something like, hello there. And so this takes a time value, so we can specify to print hello there every one second. So it's going to print hello there every one second. Now if you wanted to print, for example, the value of k slider, which is would be way more useful, we can just write something value of slider is, and then we can use this format specifier, which is going to be, it's going to print in floats, so the next parameter we pass could be case slider. Save that. So printing the value I'm going to put back in the backslash n for the carriage return. And now it's printing the value of our slider. These things can be really useful when we're debugging instruments or deslugging instruments in the cabbage world. So I'm going to create another uh, I'm going to create a button this time, so X, I'm going to push it over 150, down 10, I'm going to make it 200 wide and 40 in height, and I'm going to specify the channel to be a button, but one. And I'm going to, uh, I'll just use the default text for now, control S, so that gives me a button there. We still have the slider printing stuff out. So but if we, what if we only wanted to print out the value of the slider every time we hit this button? Okay, so that's what we're going to do now. Just going to save that. So I'm going to access the value of the button. K button, chan get, bot one. So I can't stress this enough. The channel identifier that you use with the widget is very important because it's go, it's how you. You're going to access the values of that widget using that same channel down here. So every time this widget is updated, a value is sent to a channel called slider1. And CSound is constantly checking the values stored at the software channel slider1. And it's the same for bot here. Every time we press this button, K button is going to be updated. So these things are really important to cabbage 
and C sound. Everything communicates over channels between the widgets and the underlying C sound code. So another set of things that are very useful are if statements, so they can control the flow of the program. So we can say something like if k button is equal to one, then. So when we're using if statements, we must have an if, then, and an end in. End if, excuse me. So this is your if block, if you like. Now in here, I can just copy and paste this. And I can save it. So at the moment, we're not getting anything printed to the screen down here. There's nothing happening. But if I push this, now we're getting the value. So what's happening is when k button is equal to 1, C sound is going to start executing this line of code. If I stop, suddenly C sound stops executing because it's no longer going into this line of code. Control flow is really of the utmost importance when developing instruments with cabbage because there's going to be so many times when you're going to want to say, okay, only execute this code if this is enabled, or if this button is on, or if the slider goes above 200, or if the slider is less than 200. So this is really kind of important. Another really important opcode to use with Cabbage is the changed opcode, which will notify you when a variable changes. So we could do something like this. if changed k button equals one then I put the value of this okay so I'm using changed here in a inline way I can also use it like this I can say k changed k changed k button and then I can just see if k change is equal to one that will give me the same thing except we have an error so what's the error we're missing it then. So when I press this, we get the value of slider. But it only prints it one time. And here we only get it one time. Okay. So k change when k button is updated or when k button change changes, k change is going to just momentarily output a one. And then it's going to return back to outputting zero. So it's going to return to zero again. So just for this tiniest fraction, it's going to output a 1, enough for us to be able to execute this line of code. So if you don't want to write this the long way out, you can use kind of, you can call the opcode inline, and you can say changed, if, if you could spell changed, changed k button is equal to 1. So it's the same thing, it just saves you a couple of lines of code. So I would say that changed if statements and chan get are three of the most important things that you'll need to know when you're developing instruments with cabbage.